So does your social media use fall into a predictable pattern? New research suggests that it does. Today we are taking a closer look at social media personality types. Welcome back to 10 News at 5 and everyone. Social media is a big part of life for so many Americans and researchers have found that when people engage in social media interaction, they tend to display certain behaviors. They use that information to identify 12 distinct social media personalities. For example, the ultras. They are obsessed with Facebook and Twitter and check their accounts dozens of times each day. Then you have the deniers. They claim that social media doesn't control their lives, but their actions say differently. And then you have the dippers. They access their pages infrequently often going days, even weeks, maybe sometimes months without checking them. And those are just a few of the examples. Bob Wilson joins us now to take a closer look at the different personalities. He's the digital media manager for Moxley Carmichael. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. What are you? I'm probably a combination between an informer, I like to show people stuff, and a quizzer, which is a person who asks questions. I like to do that just to kind of get a conversation started. Okay. So are, do you think these personalities are pretty spot on and accurate? I think they are. I think one thing that social media allows people to do is be more of what they are. In other words, I think it amplifies because it's so easy to do and it's so it's relatively anonymous. Your name's on it, but it's not really you. So I think it it really amplifies a personality. Okay, let's talk let's start out talking about the ultras. Just how common is that? I would think if I'm just a guessing kind of gal that it's pretty common. I think it's pretty common and like we were talking about a minute ago, with my phone always tapping me on the shoulder telling yeah. me that I've got a Facebook update or a Twitter message. Uh, it's hard to get away from it. Yeah. Okay. And let's talk about another one called the ranters. And yes. I think we're aware of the ranters. I think we all know a ranter. Yeah. <laughs> Do they tend to be ranters in real life as opposed to the social media social media world the ones that I know I think do I, I think they may be a little more aggressive online mm -hmm. because like you know they've, they've got that buffer between them and, and real people but I do think that uh, that they are that way across the board and let's talk about our younger generation because this is something that is just a part of their life they grew up with this and are growing up what what do they tend to be I see them as being the the type of people that uh, look for uh, approval with the number of likes or number of comments that they get uh, which can kind of be a dangerous thing because uh, that's not what they need to have their identity wrapped up in you know they, they don't need to see themselves by the number of comments or likes that they're getting but but that's what a lot of them do Bob can you find yourself in a little bit of each of these uh, really taking on a lot of these similar traits. Yeah, I think it's like a personality test. You're never one little thing. <laughs> you're kind right. of a you're kind of a crossover between different things. So I, I think most people do crossover, but they're primarily one or two, probably. What about personalities given the particular social media, um, Twitter, Facebook? Can people act differently? or do they tend to act differently on each of those? I think so. Facebook gives you more room to talk and so you can say more, maybe uh, a little more in depth and Twitter's much faster, it tends to be a quicker update so it's more about just what's happening right now versus what may be going on in their life. Okay, we kind of yeah. talked about this in general but let's let's kind of go over it a little bit more. We were talking about the young kids, it's, it's more about um, the popularity. Mm -hmm. Do you see it evolving media use as the person gets older into these different personalities? That's a good question. Um, I can see that happening. Uh, I think different things will start to come up. We've already seen Instagram kind of pop up and that's what the kids are using a lot of and the, yes. the adults are more on the Facebook side. So I think different tools will come along that they'll be that they'll move to. And I think as they get more reflective and not as immediate in life, they'll move to something that they can maybe talk a little bit more about their life and not just what's happening right now. All right, I'm going to study all the different categories and see where I fall in them. <laughs> Good idea. Dipper, I know, is probably one of them. All right, Bob, it's always great to see you. Thanks Good so much. You Appreciate too. your information, and we are coming back right after.